Hey guys, um, so today, like a couple of hours ago, I went to Comic-Con, um, yeah, my, my first Comic-Con actually, um, I actually really loved it, it was fun as freaking frick balls, yeah, um, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what I got at Comic-Con, as you can probably see from the title and thumbnail, blah blah blah, whatever, um, soon I'll post the video of, um, uh, my time at Comic-Con, like, the videos I took there and pictures, um, I'll show some pictures in this video as well, um, and then also soon I'm gonna be posting a video about all the Sonic McDonald's toys, cause I've collected all of them, as you can see up there, um, so yeah, let's get on to the stuff I got at Comic-Con. Okay, first off, I've got this Nanoblocks guy from Dragon Ball Z. Um, his name is Raditz, I think. Rad Raditz. Is that how you pronounce his name? Raditz. Whatever. There's a picture of him. Um, personally, I don't watch Dragon Ball Z. Um, but I didn't actually buy this guy. So the story was, um, there was this Nanoblocks booth at Comic-Con. Um, and what you had to do is... You have to take a picture with this Pikachu. I'll, I'll put the picture up on the screen here, wherever. Um, you have to take a picture of the Pikachu, which was like a really big Nanoblocks Pikachu with made up from the small ass uh, pieces, like these tiny pieces. It was actually pretty cool. Um, and you had to take a selfie with him, whatever, and then post it on Instagram or Facebook and tag Nanoblocks Australia in it. So that's what I did, and then you got to have uh, do a lucky dip, whatever. And I got Raditz um, from Dragon Ball Z. I actually like his visor and his hair. It's pretty cool. He's got a stand there because obviously he wouldn't be. He couldn't stand on his own, even though. Well, I mean, I'm on carpet now, so. Um, yeah, he's actually really tiny. I didn't realize that, but yeah, he's really tiny. Just looks like a hedgehog or porcupine or an echidna or something. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing I got. Okay. Okay, next up, I've got this die cast of Jim Hopper's, um, police car. Um, this was 15 bucks. Uh, here's the box, by the way, if you wanted to see it. Uh, yeah, Hopper's Chevy Blazer. Um, yeah, obviously an older car, because it's Stranger Things. Um, it has advertising of Season 3 on it, obviously, for obvious reasons. Oh yeah, once again, $15. The door's actually open, which is pretty cool, and it's got interior in there. Okay, you can really see that well with the camera. Damn. That's actually some good detail. Um, I'll show you guys in the back of it. If I can get it open with one hand. There we go. Um, there's the other side. Does that have a joystick? No, it doesn't. Um, there's the front. I'll show you guys the back there's the back um i've got the lego version of that up there as you can see right there um but yeah this is actually pretty cool and on the license plate it says stranger things so on the back license plate which i don't get why we say would have just had the normal license plate i do like the lights but they don't light up so yeah wait is that a hold on Is that your light-up? What's that? Is that a button? No. Oh. Hold on. That's a battery pack, ain't it? Wait. Is it? I think it might be. Hmm. Might have to test that out later. Um. But yeah. Rolls well, I guess. Room. Oh, don't go under there. Um, yeah, it's actually a nice looking car. Um, yeah, once again, got it for 15 bucks. There was also Billy's car as well, but I didn't pick that up. I, oh, I was almost out of money. Um, yeah, but they were both 15 bucks. So that's Jim Hopper's car, Chevy. Okay, next up, I've got this Patrick plush. Um, yeah, it's like Patrick going over for sleepover or getting ready for bed. I do love this pillowcase thing where the pillow's inside of the pillowcase. That's actually pretty cool. Um, he's got his pajamas on. 
It's from 2008, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 2008. Um, yeah, when I, this came out when I was one year, one year old, so, yeah, nice. Um, yeah, I was so stoked when I found this. I was like, holy crap, there's Patrick. I immediately asked how much he was, and yes, he was $15, so I had to pick him up. Um, yeah, it's just a plush Patrick. Nothing really special. I'm pretty sure it was second-hand. Um, at that stall as well, they had a bunch of games. I was going to get Lego Batman, the original video game, for $29, so like $30. And also Sonic um, Generations, but that was like $50. So then I did, just ended up not getting any of the games. Um, but there were like a bunch of cool like figures, like action figures and stuff there. And like a bunch of Lego, so... Yeah, that's Patrick. And these are the last couple things I got. I got some minifigures. So let's start off with Mrs. Puff. So this is actually my first Mrs. Puff. Um, I do have the set that she came in, the Undersea Party or whatever it was called. Um, there's the Squidward House up there. Wait, no, that's the original one. Right up there with the uh, Merry Go Round or whatever. Um, and then. My, uh, my Spongebob house that came in that sits over on my desk somewhere. Um, but I got that second hand, but the mi none of the minifigures came with the set. So I was super stoked when I found this. This was $20, $25, actually. So yeah, a bit, expense, a bit more than I wanted to spend, but hey, it was Mrs. Puff. I needed her. Next up, we've got Sandy. Now, I've already got this exact same Sandy from the Glove World set, which I had when I was little. Um, but I lost the helmet piece a long time ago. So, yeah, the main reason I got Sandy was for the helmet piece, and she was $20. So, better than Mrs. Puff, but, yeah, I do like that helmet piece, though. Um, yeah, this is the newer design of Sandy, where she actually has the, whatever you call that top part. Um, yeah. The stall they had, they had like the original Deadpool minifigure for $60. I was going to get that, but then I saw all these other minifigures. So yeah, I had to get these ones. And they also had the new Sonic from the uh, Sonic 1 uh, Lego Ideas set for 45 I think. Obviously, you didn't pick that up, um, but hey. Yeah. Last up, I got Jack Sparrow. Now, I've got a Jack Sparrow, like without the um, pirate hat. But I just wanted this one because he had the pirate hat and looked pretty sick. I don't know which movie this one's from because uh, I've only seen like the first one and a bit of the second one. So that would have been um, The Curse of the Black Pearl and Dead Man's Chest. Um, I'm just trying to get his hat off. His hat hair combo. Yeah. Come on, get off. I'm going to use my foot. There we go. Um, so there's Jack Sparrow's first face. Well, um, see how tough John Depp, yeah. Um, so yeah, there's Jack Sparrow, first face, and then his second face. Pretty sure it's the same as the other one I have. Um, if I can get his hat back on here. Um, so yeah, that was Jack Sparrow. Um, and that's all I have. So, guys, if you like that video, um, give it a thumbs up. And that I had a fun time at, um, Comic Con, like it was the first Comic Con I've been to, so you know, I was actually pretty surprised about it. Um, so once again, I'll post the video about it where, where I, when I was there today. Um, and I will see you guys later. Bye.